All right, hello and welcome. This is Tasha from Lady Boss Studio. Today we're just going to be going through how to make changes to your homepage. So you might love the style of a template, but maybe the hero section, which is this very first section right here uh, when somebody lands on your homepage, isn't quite what you're looking for. Maybe it only has a small image and you're looking for um, a full screen image or maybe it's vice versa. So I just wanted to go over um, what would probably most commonly be the case and that being we've designed it to look this way, which in this case has a large section and then inside that section, there's an intersection with two columns, right? And then there's an image widget and then some text widget and then the button widget. So I want to show you if this is what you have and maybe instead you want something more along the lines of this is an example where it's just the one big image with the text, right? How you can go about doing that. So what I always suggest is when you're, especially learning Elementor, I would never suggest deleting anything. Instead, create, copy what you can, and then get rid of what you don't need afterwards. So I'm going to come right to the top of the page here and I'm going to hit the plus icon. And again, I'm going to hit plus. And I'm going to look at this as, okay, I want this big, beautiful section, right? But then I'm also going to want to have text likely off to one side or potentially in the middle, depending on what I'm going with. In this case, this text is off to the right. So if you can imagine, there's probably a column over here and then there's a second column over here to the right. If I knew that whatever the image was, I just wanted to have text in the middle, then I really only need one column, right? So we're going to go based off just text in the middle, but then I'll show you what that would look like if you were to have text on either side as well. So I'm going to click the one section structure here. Okay. And that's just right here. It's this very first thing on top. First thing I'm going to do is click on the actual little six dots here, which is going to open up that section in the widgets panel on the left hand side. Um, and I'm going to change that to full width because I'm really going to want my image to take up the whole span, right? I'm not going to want just the image just going from this side to this side here. I'm going to want it to be the full width of the entire window. So I'm going to hit full width. The first thing I'm going to do is again, still select it into that section. I'm going to go to style and I'm going to go to background. Now it has background type. I'm going to go, there's classic. If I click on classic, that would allow me to either select a color or add in an image, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select an image. Now we probably already have one in here that I can use, but I'm just going to look and see if I have anything that's already horizontal that probably isn't. Oh, there we go. So we're just going to, just cause it's already horizontal. This is what I'm going to stick with. Um, the main thing in looking at bringing in that image is obviously it's a horizontal dimension, right? When you're reading a new image, when you're importing that image in, you're going to want to make sure it's not more than 150 KB. In this case, it's 112. So we should be pretty good. The only times I break the, that rule is in my hero section, because it's again, the first thing somebody sees when they land on your website. So if that were a bit over 150, I wouldn't cry about it. And if it's your logo, if your logo for whatever reason isn't looking that great and you brought it in and you need to make a bigger size, um, I'm not going to be mad at at you for doing that. So I'm going to pick this picture here. Um, and of course, when you're importing your photos, make sure your title, your alt task, text, and your description are all SEO optimized. Uh, I'm going to insert media and you're going to see like it, there's really not much showing or going on there whatsoever. Right? So I'm going to immediately go down here and where it has position, chances are center center is what's going to work best. Okay. And then over size, I'm going to want to select cover. It's going to cover the entire space. Now what I can do is again, clicking on the section, I'm going to go down to advanced. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try something. Okay. I'm actually going to leave that as boxed because of what I'm going to show you in a second, which is I'm going to put white behind the actual text that I'm doing. So you can leave this as boxed. It's still occupying the entire background of the section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the column. I'm going to go to style. And I'm going to go to background and I'm going to make this white because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So right now this column has a white background. Obviously that's way too wide for just sort of this text that's going to exist there. Right? So a couple things I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and click on the section and I'm going to go and add some padding in between 
where this section, this column starts, and then this overall section. So I'm going to unlink the values, and I'm going to go to percentage, and I'm going to up that maybe, we'll try seven to start, and then we can kind of play around with it. Okay, so now you can see wherever that white box is, there's going to be a certain amount of padding underneath that and a certain amount of padding at the top. In most cases, you're going to want to keep that identical, right? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly look and say, going back to the section, right, which I'm already on, I'm going to go back to layout and I'm going to play around with the width of this box because I don't need it to be that wide. I'm going to play around with it. Maybe we'll try 700 to start. Try to keep this at a nice round number, right? Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my text. So right click copy and I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to right click and then, or command click if you're on a Mac. I'm going to paste this text in. I'm going to come back down to the second part of my hero statement. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to hover over the text. I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to come down again to the button, right click copy, and right click paste. So we're not looking so bad here, right? But as we're kind of taking a look at this, I can say, okay, well, there's a few things that don't look right. There's not enough padding between, this is one of my biggest sort of design pet peeves. There's not enough padding between where the white box starts and where the text starts, right? It all feels very squished and there's no room to breathe whatsoever. So I'm going to click on the actual column itself. I'm going to go to advanced. Okay. And again, I'm going to unlink the values. I'm going to go to percentage and I'm going to up this at the top. I'm going to up it at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to, obviously I want it to match on the sides doesn't have to be seven on the sides, right? Because the sides are already not gonna go all the way. Um, to me, there's still not quite enough space between the top and where the text starts. So I'm gonna up that. I'm gonna up that to 10, and we're just gonna see where we land overall. So that kind of feels like there's a little bit too much, right? So I'm actually gonna maybe bring that to eight. Okay, I feel pretty good about that right now. Now, the other thing that doesn't quite feel right is if we're looking at, if we're over here and we're looking at the whole width of this hero statement, right? Like it's a, it's taken up almost the whole page. And I scroll back up here. This is a really sort of skinny um, section. And I think it needs to be quite a bit larger before we start hopping to the next thing. So I'm going to go back to the section. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to up these to about 10 which is what I figured it would be in the first place, but I wanted you to be able to see that difference. We keep all of our sections consistent. So the amount of spacing that you'll see in between sections, if you click on this, go to advanced, you're gonna see it's 10 and 10. So whatever you start kind of, if, if you start playing around with it and messing around with the templates to make them your own, you just wanna make sure that if you've changed one, so maybe the padding is seven and seven at the top and the bottom, that you really try to keep that consistency throughout the rest of your website. So this is us at 10 and 10. In this case, because it's our hero section, it still feels a little small to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, now I've already pulled all my text in, so I'm good there, right? I don't really need this section anymore. Um, so now I can delete it and I know we're good. So I'm gonna update, okay? And I wanna go look at this, I'm gonna preview it. I wanna go look at this from the perspective of what most clients are going to see. So not everybody viewing my website is gonna have a really huge monitor, which is what I have here and why you can see the website feels really, really stretched out. I like to come in and view and just play around with this at different levels. And I still feel like it might be a little kind of small on the top of the bottom in terms of padding. So I'm gonna up that a little bit. The other thing I wanna do is the fact that to add some visual interest, right? I want there to be a parallax effect with this image, meaning I want the image to stay still while I continue to scroll. So if I go a little bit further down, see how behind the um, testimonials, that image isn't moving. It's kind of stuck to the background. We're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna click on the section. I'm gonna go over to style. I'm gonna go to where the image is, right? And under attachment, I'm gonna change that to fixed. And I'm gonna update. I'm gonna come back and take a peek here. So now, when I kind of minimize that a little bit, see how it's actually staying kind of stuck to the background. I like that a lot more. Last up, 
I'm going to come here and I'm going to add a little bit more padding here. I just want this to be a little bit beefier. Okay. And again, I'll just go and view. Perfect. That feels a lot better to me. So now I've got that big, bold hero section and I go right into my value stack and then everything else going on. But that's how quickly I was able to sort of change from the style that we had before, which is technically the style that's on the home page, right? Which is the style here. And you can see that parallax effect is happening on this image and behind um, to now this being the hero image style instead. One other thing I just want to note quickly is if you click on this column where you've got that white background, obviously you can change the color to anything else, right? So if I go to style, I can pick any color under the rainbow. Ideally though, I'm picking one of my global colors. So if I wanted to make that more of that creamy color. The other thing I just want to show you as well is even if I've selected on that white global color and I actually click on the white, I can bring down the opacity so that if I needed that image to shine through at all, um, or that was sort of the effect that I was creating, I could add a little bit of translucency um, to that background if I wanted to. In this case, I don't, but there are many times where I would. Um, so I just wanna show you that you can do that to allow that background image to kind of shine through a little bit. If you have a parallax effect on, it can be distracting depending on how see-through you make this box. Um, if there are darker things coming in behind the text, it could make it harder to read. In this case, it's, it's really not hard to read it at all. So I just wanted to show you how you would go about making the switch. You can kind of follow along with that step by step. If you get stuck at all doing this, you can always, you know, tag us in the group, ask us questions, and we can go in and help you out. Thank you so much for watching. 